Hey everyone, it's Keegan here. I'm back with another video for you guys. And today's video I'm bringing you guys is another edition of Keegan's Movie Reviews. And today I'm going to be talking about two films this time around. Both of which are movies I saw in theaters over the weekend. And um, yeah, I don't really have anything else to add. So let's not waste any more time and uh, let's, uh, let's talk about them. So the first film we're going to be talking about today is One Fine Morning, written and directed by Mia Hansen Love and starring Leah Sido or Sido. I have no idea how you pronounce her last name. This is the same chick that was in movies like, like uh, Crimes of the Future, Blue is the Warmest Color, Spectre, No Time to Die, The French Dispatch, and so on. But yeah, she's uh, she's in this movie. This film I saw in theaters on Friday. This movie was released in France on February, I mean October fifth, two thousand and twenty-two, and was released in Canada on February February tenth, two thousand and twenty-three. So yeah, this film came out pretty recently, and again I saw it in theaters on Friday. But uh, yeah, let's uh, let's talk about it. So one fine morning follows a single mother named S Sandra, played by Leah Sido. She lives with her uh, eight-year-old daughter. And she's struggling to find a care home for her aging father. Her father has a neurodegenerative disease of some sort. And uh, his mind is kind of all over the place. It's not really dementia. It's a different form of it. But I forgot the name of it. But anyways, she's struggling to find uh, a care home for her father. She also gets an, has an affair with an un a friend who is already married but she still does it anyways so she's basically trying to raise her raise uh, her daughter while having an affair with a friend who's married and at the same time trying to uh, find a care home for her aging father and uh, yeah that's pretty much the storyline of the film it's pretty straightforward now I don't really have a whole lot to say about this film Although I will say the film has some really, really good performances. And uh, I think Leah Sido has delivers the best performance out of everyone in the film. Same with the uh, the young, the child actor who played uh, the daughter. I thought she did really well too. And um, it's got some pretty good cinematography. It's a uh, well shot. And it's got a pretty good, it's got pretty good music in the film. And um, it's a simple film to get through. And the storyline... Um, is a simple it's just it's a simple film but it's a film that i um uh, i enjoyed overall don't really have a whole lot to say about the film but if these kind of films seem interesting to you then um check it out i probably will check it out again someday but i don't know i uh, enjoyed the film for for what it was but anyways i don't have a whole lot to say about the film so i'm gonna give one fine morning a 7.5 out of 10. now the second and final film i'm going to be talking about in this video is the one i saw in theaters on sunday and that is the 1996 film bound direct written and directed by the wachowskis and starring jennifer tilly gina gershon and joe pantolino who you might know from the sopranos he played ralphie in that show and it should be noted at the time of when this film was released and in production, the Wachowskis were known as the Wachowski brothers. So this was many years before they transitioned in becoming the Wachowski sisters. Well, as most of you know, they're uh, transgender. But yeah, you get the idea. But I just wanted to point that out because at the time they were still known as the Wachowski brothers. So uh, yeah, you get the idea. And uh, this film was originally released on October 4th, 1996. So this film came out the same weekend as Cronenberg's Crash when it was released in Canada. And uh, this film I've been curious about checking out for a little while. And this one, it was playing at one of my local theaters, like my local indie theater in the city. And I decided why not go see it. So I went ahead and, go, I went ahead and saw it. And we'll get to my thoughts on that in a bit, but let's talk about the storyline of the film first. The story follows a an ex-con named Corky, played by Gina Gershon. And uh, Corky is released from prison after serving a five-year sentence and moves into an apartment building. 
and uh, falls in love with uh, the woman next door named Violet, played by Jennifer Tilly. And the two have a have an affair, well, even though Violet is already in a relationship with a mob with a mobster named Caesar, played by Joe Pantolino. And uh, one day, Violet tells a uh, Corky that she wants out of the life. She wants no involvement with the mob. So then Corky and Violet plot make a plan to steal millions of mob money that's being stashed at Caesar's apartment and make the mob point the blame at uh, Caesar. And um, that's basically the storyline of the film in a nutshell without giving away too much, of course. I want to say, for the record, I was really impressed by this movie. I actually enjoyed the film a lot more than I was expecting it to be. And uh, it was a really uh, well-made film. It was very well-acted, well-written, and a uh, very, uh, just a very well-made film. And uh, very impressive for a debut feature from the Wachowskis. The acting was really well done. The set designs were really well done. And it has a really good choice in uh, some of the music used in the soundtrack and has some really good music. And the tension builds up really well. And um, it's just, it's unpredictable. You have no idea what's going to happen like as the, as the lead character's plot goes on. But um, it was really well done. And uh, it was pretty funny at times too for a dark comedy. And uh, let me remind you that this was the Wachowski's first film. This was the first film they made before they did The Matrix a couple years later in 1999, which I haven't seen The Matrix yet, but I plan to check it out soon. But uh, I don't really have a whole lot to say about the film other than I really, really enjoyed it. And it's one I highly recommend checking out if you haven't seen it. And um, it was just an excellent film. I really, really enjoyed it. And I will definitely be checking it out again someday. And it was just a damn good movie. I really don't have much else to add that I can think of. Um, I guess I could add that all, all the performances in this film were excellent. And uh, the dialogue can be somewhat corny a little bit. Well, this was the 90s when this movie came out. Aside from the dialogue being somewhat cheesy at the time, it uh, doesn't really affect my experience of the film, but it was a blast seeing, it in film, seeing the film in theaters, especially seeing it for the first time, as a matter of fact. But yeah, if you haven't seen Bound, I highly recommend you check it out. It's a really, really well-made film, and it's definitely one I plan to check out again soon. So uh, yeah, check it out if you haven't. And I'm going to give Bound an 8.7 out of 10. So yeah, there you go. That's an, that's the end of another edition of Keegan's Movie Reviews. And uh, thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, as always, feel free to leave a like, leave a comment below, subscribe, turn on notifications, share the video with your friends, family, or whoever. Follow me on my other social medias. The links are in the description down below. And uh, comment below your thoughts on these two movies. Let me know in the comments below. But uh, yeah, that's all I have to say for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. And until next time, this is Keegan Shepard signing off. And uh, yeah, I'm signing off. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys later. Have a great day, everybody. Peace out.